Good morning. Thanks for joining in today. I'm starting a new season of talks today and in this season we are going to talk about the male reproductive system. And the first topic I have chosen is testicular torsion or in simple words a twisted testicle. In this condition as the word suggests the testicle twists and as a result of twisting like you twist a pipe a hose pipe it kinks the blood supply to the testicle kinks and i'll explain in a second why that happens and as a result the blood stops going into the testicle and the testicle will eventually die although it's reported in every age however the most patients will be between the ages of 12 and 18 so teenagers i have dealt with some children with testicular torsion so it can happen in children and even newborn as well as i said earlier the testicle has a life without blood supply for about 6 hours if within 6 hours the blood supply of the testicle is restored then the testicle will retain most of its function if not all if however it's been left for 12 hours or more then the chances of any function left in the testicle is negligible and the testicle will have to be removed so why does testicular torsion happens so to explain this i have drawn a little diagram here so that is the scrotum the blue line outside inside the red oblong thing is the testicle so that is the right testes this is the left testes this structure up there is the spermatic cord now we talked about spermatic cord when we were discussing inguinal hernia so do watch my video about that however spermatic cord is the structure which takes things from the testicle which is basically the sperm from the testicle to the genitals and also brings structures to the testicle like the artery and the vein to the testicle so in this spermatic cord which i have drawn with green inside is a red structure which is the artery then there is a black structure which is the duct which takes the sperm called the ductus deferens which takes the sperm from the testicle to the genitals and a blue structure which is called the testicular vein and this blood vessel takes the blood from the testicle back into the body now normally the testicle as you can see is attached to our scrotum inside the scrotum with very loose structure however this loose structure does not allow the testicle to twist although you can move the testicle a little bit however you can't twist it all the way around if somebody tries to sting a normal testicle it will come back to its normal position but in some men that attachment of the testicle to the scrotum is not present and that condition is called a uh, bell clapper deformity so to explain this i have drawn a bell over here my interpretation of a bell this is the clapper inside the bell which moves right left to ring the bell if you shake the bell this will hit the side of the bell and it will ring now the bell clapper if it was attached to the bell then the clapper will not move however in a normal bell the clapper is hanging freely so it can move around and it can even twist that is what happens in men who have a free lying testicle inside the scrotum it can twist because of a minor accident or sometimes no cause whatsoever it can happen when they're sleeping it can happen when they're walking it can happen when they're sitting down or lying down makes no difference at all sometimes the testicle if it's not attached to the scrotum the testicle will twist and when the testicle twists if you look at the bell clapper if i twist the clapper then the cord will get twisted same thing happen with the testicle if there is no attachment of the testicle so if i remove all the attachment of the testicle from the scrotum there is no attachment left the testicle is free to twist it will as it twists it kinks the blood supply in the cord and when the blood supply gets kinked no blood is coming into the testicle and the testicle has a 6 hour life to survive after 6 hour the testicle will die 
Remember, testicle has two main functions. Function number one is to produce sperm for fertility, obviously to make babies. The second important function of the testicle is to produce a hormone called testosterone. If the testicle dies, then both of these functions will stop from this testicle. However, there will enough production of testosterone and also sperm from the te second testicle to have a normal function, provided the second testicle is normal. So what are the symptoms of testicular torsion? The main symptom of testicular torsion is severe sudden onset pain in that testicle. There is usually no history of trauma. There is no history of injury to the testicle. There is also swelling of that side of the testicle. Twisted testicles do not happen on both sides at the same time. So it only happens on one side at a time. If it's swollen and painful on both sides of the testicles, then it is most unlikely to be twisted testicle. The diagnosis of twisted testicle can be made on history and examination. If a young boy, a teenager, presents with painful swollen testicle on one side, which is sudden onset pain, severe pain, then the patient requires an operation. In some patients who are older than teenage, who might have a history of trauma, or the diagnosis is uncertain, or the history has gone past six hours, so it is very unlikely to have much function left in the testicle. In those patients, a Doppler ultrasound as an emergency can be undertaken because Doppler will show whether there is any blood coming into the testicle or not. Time is of an essence in these patients. An unnecessary investigation should not be performed, if at all possible, because if the testicle is explode within six hours of twist, then it can be treated surgically and the testicle can be saved. What is the treatment for testicular torsion? If the patient presents within six hours, then emergency operation to untwist the testicle, surgeon will make a little cut in the scrotum, untwist the testicle, and suture the testicle to the inside of the scrotum. Although the other side testicle has caused no problem so far, but belt clapper abnormality can happen on both sides, so he will also explore the other side and stitch it to prevent it happening in the future. If, however, the twisted testicle presents late, about 12 hours or more, then the testicle is dead. The surgeon will explore the testicle and remove the dead testicle and sometimes replace it with a prosthesis. He will go ahead and fix the normal side so twisted testicle cannot happen on this side in the future. I hope you found this video informative and if you did then please do give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care.